Rebecca, where's the new doll? I don't know, Venus, but we should look around. Okay, uh, try to fly up around the shelves to look. Okay. I am a bit rusty, though. Ugh. That's the new Bratz doll. I got it. Great, I guess we should take her to the review center. Oh, hey, Rebecca. Hey, Venus, what do you guys want? Oh, we were wondering if you could review the new doll. Yeah, no problem. Just bring it up here. Konnichiwa, everyone. Sailor V here. And today we will be reviewing Bratz and the Wild Chloe. And the special thing about this doll is that she's taller than the normal Bratz doll. And if you guys were wondering, yes, this is my first Bratz doll. You guys were probably wondering, why get Bratz? Why not M-H or E-H? Well, I want to try out something new, so here we have a Bratz doll. I hate the tiny, no articulation body, so I decide to get this one. Anyway, let's read what it says on the back. As the Earth's people population grows, the tiger population is shrinking. People are taking over places tigers used to call home. Together, we can help create protected places for tigers to live. So I'm assuming that the Bratz in the Wild line is kind of like the animal rights line. You know, they're trying to spread um, positivity about animal rights. So I think that's a really nice message. So this is really nice. Anyway, no more waiting. Let's take this girl out of the box. And now she's out of the box. Boy, was it stressful to get her out. It was so hard. Anyway, we're going to start off with the accessories. The first thing she has is this glitter purse. It's pink and it's glittery and, you know, and it has this baby bottle or something. I think it's for this thing. Um, and I think it looks really nice. It's really cute and I feel like it goes with her well. Now, the next thing we have, um, this is a flashlight, which is good for, you know, when you're like going out into the safari or whatever. And we also have a walkie-talkie, I guess, you know, for talking to our friends. We also have this Red Bratz hairbrush, which I really like. Like, this is new, and I like it. And the, excuse me. And then we have the tiger, um, and this is so cute. She has articulation at the tail, the head, and all of her limbs. So, yeah, those are the accessories. And now I just, oh my god. So I thought she wouldn't be a standard brat stall when it came to the feet, but I was wrong. They have the pegs and they come off. So anyway, um, here's a look at the shoe. So it's like this boot with a really weird heel, but it looks nice. Um, here we have the laces and the fur on top here. So I don't know what this peg down here is for, so please explain. But yeah, that's a really nice shoe. Now to put it back on. As for the pants, they're like these beige and dull brown cheetah print, I think. Is this cheetah print? Yeah, I think. I don't know. But yeah, and this also looks really cute, like the mod or whatever for this is. The girls with a passion for fashion. Sorry, I'm like so out with this doll. I don't know. So here she has this tank top with like a skirt at the end. Um, it has these cute patterns that are in like black, brown, blue, pink, white, um, glitter. So, yeah, I think this looks really cute also. Um, I like the style it's in, like, honestly. You could probably have this without these leggings or pants or I don't know. I just want to add a side note that she would have looked a lot better with some bracelets, but that's fine. Her hands are also quite dainty. Like, I did not expect them to be like this. So her arms are just pretty tiny and the joint for this is pretty loose. Like it's not loose at a bad point, like where a point's really bad, it's just loose. As for her makeup, she has pink lipstick. Her eye color is like this really pretty shade of blue. And um, her eyeshadow is like mint with different brown tones. So I think that looks really cute together. Her eyebrows are also arched to have a more seductive expression. And she has this one yellow earring. Overall, I really like this Bratz doll, and I think she's super cute and super cool and super fashionable. I got her at my local Macy's. She was originally 18, but they lowered the price to 8, which is really nice. And honestly, like, this doll is a first, but I already love her. Um, and yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sailor V Doll Customs. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye everyone, like, totally.